we're right in transition of coming into our strawberry tower. So all these south towers are getting transitioned into strawberries. As you can see, this is what I left in from last year. So this is what all the towers will look like when we're fruiting out. And so all of these will be planted in these strawberries and we'll be harvesting organic strawberries. So this is aquaponics. Oh, yeah. This is the growing of fish and plants together. Yes, sir. All right. Like I said, I'm going to give you the full tour. I'm, I'm so, ready. So, with aquaponics, it's the first step into living, creating living water. So, we feed the fish, all right, an organic meal. The fish waste is broken down by bacteria in the living water, which suspends the nutrients in the water for the plants. The plants filter out that nutrients, cleaning the water, and it flows back into the fish. So one pump, all of this water is gravity fed, feeding all the plants until you get one pump running the entire system. All right, this is blue turmeric. I got a piece of blue turmeric. It's supposed to be so much better for you than a normal turmeric. Yes, sir. And I just took that piece and put it into little cuttings and dropped it into this aquaponic system. Holy man, look at that. And this is less than a month old. That is the benefits of living water because the plants just grow in the root, the roots grow down into the water and they take up all the nutrients they need. They don't fog of nutrient water, moisture. That's what the roots are growing in. So outside of the little plug to hold the, the starter, those roots grow into the tower and they're just constantly fed. It's kind of like the next step we get over here in aquaponics, but these are all aeroponics. And so as you can see the peppers growing and stuff like that, it's just another technique of showing how to grow. Microgreens is because in your leafy green vegetables, anything that doesn't produce a fruit at the end of its life, like a tomato or a cucumber or such, 90% of its lifetime nutrients is in the first 15 days of growth. So for, you know, you talk about lettuce, it takes 45 to 65 days to grow one head of lettuce. The same amount of water to grow that one head of lettuce, I can grow four crops of microgreens and have more nutrients than that one head of lettuce. So this is, you know, there again, we're using simple materials to teach the techniques that they can, see a one sheet like this, you control the water, I don't care where it is in the, the world, you can feed a village off of one sheep, knowing the technique of just growing, you know. Um, yes. Yeah, these guys are these guys are probably four days old. You know, they were seeded with this feet. You heard life is in the blood. Well, for a plant, the life is in the water. So as long as I'm feeding the plants living water, then they're flourishing except when it's 130 degrees in here and everything's baking. Correct. So everything, um, and then it recirculates. This one doesn't have the hose because they've been cleaning, but yeah, it all recirculates back into my mixing tank out there. And that's where I feed, I brew my compost tea over at the next greenhouse. And then every, you know, I supplement the water source in here. And so I have misters and everything on all these towers and that's what feeds this house. So, do you reshape this? I do. I, we, we just peel off the top, and I'll get three crops out of this um, perlite. I said, when you say come off the top, you drop down the floor. Man. We just basically scrape it just like that. Oh, and yeah. that's how I. That's once we harvest it, this will all get scraped up like this, and we'll reseed it in. How big did you get? All right. So these are microgreens. Let's Micro step over. Oh, oh, that feels good. This this is a dream here. Yeah, this this makes Disney World get going. I did backstage at Disney World. I love this.